Growing up, my dad and I would answer the phone in a myriad of catchphrases. My favorite, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. He was always Rico Suave. I was always hungry. Being from the Midwest, I had never actually had chicken and waffles. Frankly, it sounded suspect. So when I went to LA for the first time in over 10 years, I knew exactly where to dine. Awaited his call all day, fully prepared to finally understand the reference. Meanwhile, I divulged in the meal. Across from a stranger, turn closest thing to a friend in less than 24 hours. Before the end of the day, there would be a feeling of grief or relief. Awaited a call or a verdict. For a man whose heart has provided for families that weren't his, my dad, their coach, every brown-skinned baby in our liberal college town knew his name, knew that, if, knew that if adversity found them, he was the one to call. So I tried to forget, tried not to drift to memories or fear, and in mid-conversation, I was held up a combination of full-bellied laugh and pounding gavel shook my heart for a moment, held my breath hostage, and exhale away from conviction. As the dishes clanged a fading soundtrack around me, I stared down the barrel of a text, the tunnel of his fate, a thumbprint away. One word, six letters, guilty. I ran away from a tabled verdict, past a jury of blank-faced strangers, none of them knowing my story, only what they'd been told. One, just as assuming as the next, didn't care about their eyes, staring at a grown woman, a crushed rose on the concrete. I never believed the charge to be true, and I couldn't swallow the truth in this either. Looked at my gold bangles and thought about his matching chains. Could feel the blood rushing through my veins like an injection chair needle. Heart pumping a thousand liters a second and I can't remember what I said. But I know I cried a womb exiting scream. Tears rained a Pacific Ocean of tears. Looked for a crutch to lean on but only found the cold of the concrete. And I held it like cradle. Rocked myself to disbelief and wanted nothing more than to wake up. To forget, to pretend my father wasn't farther than the kitchen smoke against my shoulders. Do you know what it's like to watch your daddy become the undead? While he was on trial, I was across the country speaking at a conference about the power of youth voice. My daddy sat in a courtroom trying to convince 12 strangers that he didn't take away a 13-year-old girl's right to be heard. And in a California sunset, his child died. Only for a few moments, close check and close case can sometimes feel the same. For the next 13 years, our calls will begin with an automated recording. No Roscoe's on the other end. I'll try to be his Rico Suave. I'm certain he'll be hungry, but forgive me, this is a combination I never want to have again. Frankly, it's always been suspect. Let's go,